आज मैं आपको कुछ ऐसी चीज़ दिखाने वाला हूँ और बताने वाला हूँ दैट इज़ एब्सोलूटली गोइंग टू ब्लो योर माइंड क्योंकि इंडिया जो है हैज एक्चुअली एंटर्ड अ वेरी वेरी एलिट क्लब सिर्फ चार कंट्रीज ये कर सकती थी एंड इंडिया बिकम्स द फिफ्थ कंट्री वो क्या है दिस इज समथिंग सो अमेजिंग कि अब बाकी कंट्रीज इंडिया के पीछे पड़ी हुई हैं कि हमारे को ये टेक्नोलॉजी दीजिए वो क्या है एक ऐसी टेक्नोलॉजी दैट विल एक्चुअली कनेक्ट द अनकनेक्टेड दो दैट हैव बीन अनटच बाय टेक्नोलॉजी उनके वहाँ पे टेक्नोलॉजी पहुँच जाएगी मिलियंस एंड मिलियंस ऑफ करोड़ एंड करोड़ ऑफ पीपल जिनके पास ये टेक्नोलॉजी नहीं है उनको वो मिल जाएगी ये क्या है यह है इंडिया नाउ बिकम्स द फिफ्थ कंट्री इन द वर्ल्ड जिनका अपना नेटवर्क कैपेबिलिटी है आप जब अपने फ़ोन को ऑन करते हैं यू सी एयरटेल और वी या जियो वो तो सिर्फ प्रोवाइडर है ना नेटवर्क सर्विस प्रोवाइडर है जो एक्चुअल टेक्नोलॉजी है बिहाइंड ऑल द रेडियोज द टावर्स एज अ सॉफ्टवेयर जो आपकी टेलीकम्युनिकेशन को एक्चुअली रेडी करता है वो कौन बनाता है देर बीन ओनली फोर कंट्रीज दैट हैड दैट केपेबिलिटी इंडिया बिकम्स द फिफ्थ और नॉट सम स्मॉल लिटिल थिंग उन्होंने किया है इन रिकॉर्ड टाइम ऑलरेडी डिप्लॉय हो चुका है इन वन हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एरियाज वो विलेजेस वो स्मॉल टाउन जहाँ पे आज तक नेटवर्क नहीं था वहाँ पे नेटवर्क आ चुका है दिस इज द बिगेस्ट सेलिब्रेशन दिस काइंड ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी यहाँ पे पूरा का पूरा सोल्यूशन इसमें हार्डवेयर से लेके सॉफ्टवेयर एंड एवरी इन बिटवीन पूरा मेड इन इंडिया एंड हु इज डूइंग इट टी सी एस इज डूइंग इट और ये जो है फोर जी रेडी ऑलरेडी है फाइव जी के लिए सिर्फ आपने क्या करना है एक सॉफ्टवेयर का अपग्रेड करना है एंड दिस बिकम्स अ फाइव जी नेटवर्क तो टी सी एस विद बी एस एन एल ने हंड्रेड थाउजेंड एरियाज में इसको ऑलरेडी डिप्लॉय कर दिया है सो वॉट वी आर गोइंट टू डू टूडे इज वेरी वेरी क्विकली शो यू एक क्या टेक्नोलॉजी है बट मोर इंपॉर्टेंटली क्या इसके यूज़ केसेस होंगे कहाँ कहाँ पे ये जाके दुनिया बदल देगा लोगों की जिंदगी बदल देगा सो दैट्स एन अमेजिंग जर्नी वे स्टार्टिंग राइट नाउ हियर एट द टी सी एस बूथ एट द इंडिया मोबाइल कांग्रेस तो ये तो आपको पता ही होगा कि टी सी एस इज पावर्ड इंडिया डिजिटल बैकबोन फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम उनकी जो टेक्नोलॉजी है इट्स बीन टचिंग सेवन आउट ऑफ टेन इंडियंस डेली जो इनविजिबल लाइन्स ऑफ कोड है फ्रॉम टी सी एस जो पावर करता है इंडिया पासपोर्ट टू द आधार प्रोग्राम एंड ये लीड करता है स्टॉक एक्सचेंजेस लाइक एन एस सी और ये जो कम्प्लीट स्वदेशी ड्रीम टीम बनी है विद द फोर जी फाइव जी स्टैक उसमें बी एस एन एल जो है वो टेस्ट ग्राउंड था टी सी एस ने स्पेयर हेड किया द एग्जीक्यूशन ऑफ द प्रोजेक्ट सी डॉट इज द ब्रेन ऑफ इट और तेजस नेटवर्क इज द मसल ये सब मिल के दे हैव मेड द स्वदेशी ड्रीम टीम एक्चुअली हैपन तो इंडिया ने ये सब कैसे बनाया टी सी एस की ये जर्नी कहाँ से शुरू हुई हाउ डिड दे टेक अप दिस चैलेंज ऑफ बिकमिंग द फिफ्थ कंट्री टू डू समथिंग लाइक दिस जो कोई और कंट्री नहीं कर पाया हम कैसे कर पाए आई मेट अप विद विमल कुमार जो हैं नेटवर्क सोल्यूशन के वाइस प्रेजिडेंट एंड ग्लोबल हेड फॉर टी सी एस और उन्होंने मेरे को बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग चीज़ें बताएं सो लेट्स गो एंड मीट विमल एंड आस्क हिम ऑल द टफ क्वेश्चन कंग्रेचुलेशन आई थिंक यू अचीव वॉट मोस्ट पीपल were actually saying cannot be achieved in india uh, i think tcs as a company has been uh, that core dna has been engineering right we've been doing this as an r&d services for most oems across the globe so we had the wherewithal the technology the underlying engineering dna so to say but we never looked at the product development as such because at that point in time the country needed services a lot more we needed a lot more foreign currency to come into the country and tcs was always structured as a services company system integrator company but lately uh, when government of india said you guys do so much of r&d and product development you are the it powerhouse why don't you do it for the nation and i really need us to have a sovereign technology stack for communication because upi banking everything is getting digital i can't get this compromise because my underlying layer is with somebody else and it can stop it anytime correct that's when the group really took that challenge and said yes we can do it let's uh, chart out a territory chart out a path how do how would we do it government also wanted uh, a right collaboration with government r&d itself so that's where c dot came in and they said we've been building a stack which is not really cloud ready but it's a reasonable stack that we've deployed in rural this thing we will can turn that up into a mobility stack and then put it as a bsnl really came up as a front runner said yes we'll allow you to pilot this in in india and that's exactly my next question the 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 challenges right so doing a 100000 station deployment a 100000 to most people is maybe 8 to 10 full countries covered many european countries would have you know 8000 10000 total right 
you're doing it in India, 100,000 and done in a lightning speed, right? Tell me one or two of the biggest challenges in doing that. When I came to India, there are a lot of places uh, and villages and far-flung places which had no coverage. Neither 2G, 3G, 4G, fixed line, nothing was there. There are about 22,000 such villages. How do I roll out, how do I send my teams into those remote places where there was no road? The only way to carry equipment was either a boat or an elephant. So, <laughs> I think those were very interesting things when I made my team, I sitting in Delhi and team calling in from Arunachal saying, Sir, I can't take it, I, there's no truck available. I can, I can take it only on an elephant. Or I can take so stuff too. This has actually happened is, on boats and elephants? Boats and elephants. You, you have islands like Andaman Nicobar. And, well, we have to replan, recalibrate. It'll take me six days for my equipment to reach there. Then when you reach there, there's no power. You get power only for two hours. And you don't know which two hours. So getting that done for a country like ours, where infrastructure is still not very stable, was a very uh, difficult problem to solve. But I think good that team had a conviction. Hum Honge Kamya was the <laughs> team song that I gave them and they, they were all for it. Fantastic. I think that's, no, I that's think really truly, good. Truly congratulations to you and your team. Coming down to now, the fact that you've done the impossible, you've literally achieved what was only dreamt about. Obviously, a lot of other countries would be very interested in this kind of technology. So what is it? Are you now ready to go international? Are you still going to concentrate in India? No, I, think, and, yeah. I think we have uh, reached a critical mass, as we call it. We have really industrialized the manufacturing and the quality test process. So we're ready to go to the world. In fact, there are countries who are approaching us, either through DOT or through TCS channels already. And they're very keen to look at a third alternative. So there are primarily two or three uh, equipment manufacturers only across the globe who can build this technology end to end. Be it core, radio, transport. So today we are the fifth country as the PM underscored yesterday as well, who has this capability to build a network end to end. So the last part I want to get into is the more emotional part of the what it's, it's all very well to talk about the challenges, the hardware, the software, how you did it. But eventually it comes down to why is it being done for the Indian citizens, for the people, right? Give me one or two of the, you know, incredible emotional stories because you're going into areas where there has never been a network, not even 2G. And we're not talking about cities which are back far and beyond. You were giving me an example, 50, 60 kilometers away from Chandigarh. Right? There has never been a network. Right. I think uh, one story I spoke to you about Chandigarh, uh, very close to Chandigarh, and I could see the, the cherishedness and the uh, happiness that they could see. Another story we saw in Mandi, uh, far up in the uh, Himachal, right. where people said my crop could uh, used to die because I didn't have the connectivity, I didn't have access to the market, I couldn't make those phone calls. I couldn't get my labor on time because there's no connectivity. And these guys were jumping up and down. Another similar story in the Northeast, where they said earlier the only option for me to get my children ready with the education uh, envelope was go to Delhi and study. Now I can have access to IGNU sitting in my hometown. This is game changing. Those that are untouched by technology finally getting all that you're really offering and the fact that this can move from 4G to 5G with a software update itself I think is the best. Congratulations again, this has been great. Thank you so much for speaking with us and I Thank hope you. to keep tracking this Absolutely. again and again. India abhi tak jo hai, it has been a user, not a maker. Hum log jo hai, technology jo hai, bahar se import karte te pe just to make our phone calls, just to get a 5G network. Ab hum puri dunia ko apna 4G or 5G stack denge. This is, I think, one of the most important changes that is coming about with this new technology coming in. You can listen to PM's speech, you can see PMO office ki statements, you can see the overall government ka wo dekhe, ke what is the next way. We have to do our data here in India, which we use, karte hai, jis bhi se karte hai, that has got to be kept within India. I think this journey is starting from here.
So you tell me, I firmly believe it already that India is going to become a complete digital superpower in terms of telecommunication. Do you agree with me? And do you agree that from here the journey is starting? Do let me know and of course subscribe to me because this is the way that incredible things about India, about companies that are changing India. I'll keep bringing to you. I'll see you in the next one.